Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Lex Luger, the total package. I am doing this preview live on Twitch because I'm hanging out with some of my favorite people, about 104 of my favorite people. And, uh, you know, if you're not here on Twitch, I guess you're not one of my favorite people and you should show up. Uh, sorry. Is what it is. Yeah! yeah. Alright. So, Lex, first of all, he's a defensive technician. This is sort of, sort of unfortunate. Yeah, Gina, you and Broken are actually high up on my list. Sort of unfortunate that he's a defensive tech. I really wish he was focused, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. He is Attitude Era, um, the total package, as it were. He has the WCW Link, 1 MP, and Attitude Era gems do 10% more damage. He's a trainer. Actually, big plays on the trainer here. At 5-star gold, blue moves start with 2 more MP. Multiply gems generated for moves. Increase their strength by 1. This is massive on Acro Bianca. Love it for Acro Bianca. Very, 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 very good. Also great on Tatanka, which we'll see later when I do Tatanka's preview. Uh, I like saying Tatanka, uh, by the way. Um, I'm sure there's some other people that this trainer is going to be really good on, but Acro Bianca and Tatanka come to mind right off. I'm going to have four movesets for you guys. Lex's value, I think, is going to be in his overall ability across the board. And for people that are maybe missing some other things, I think he's a great addition. We'll kind of get into it as we go along. Now, he does have a bonus. He has 50% silence gem bonus and 50% gem damage bonus. So, to counteract that, I am using no Fury. So, if I was using Fury 2, I would have about 100% uh, more gem damage and that would hit about as hard as this is when his buff is gone um, move damage I decided I would just go regular takedown ones um, and use 133 percent metal so essentially this is the equivalent of him with fury 2 and a 200 percent metal so this should give you a really good idea what he, he would hit with the green sets now keep in mind when we're not using silence gems or green gems uh, in particular, this is going to be much weaker. So do keep that in mind. Uh, I do have a Uso cap plate on. It really, I think, is only going to help with the first build, maybe one other. Uh, whenever you make eight or more silence gems, increase your green gem damage 150% for three turns. So this combination, if you have it available to you and this first moveset, will be amazing for any green boss battle. And also silence boss battle. Very, very good. Uh, torture rack, 10 MP green submission, generate 22 random sub gems, do 119k damage three turns, remaining turn into silence. Attitude adjustment, do 129k, 35 silence into green, 8 MP. Rib breaker, 8 MP, 132k damage, make 18 random into silence gems. You get going, everything cycles itself. Bob's your uncle, you're good to go. Entourage, a um, couple things here. Steel. Any 2 MP will work. I have Bailey because why not get an extra 125k move damage if you can. No big deal if you don't have Bailey. You're not missing out on that much damage. Hall of Fame China, green gems do more damage. Lacey, green gems do more damage. Uh, you could also, and I would actually recommend this, if you don't want to get hit turn 1 in Feud, just run a Universal MP down guy here. Um, and... You know, target people that have 7 MP moves or 6 MP moves or whatever. Or run two universal MP guys down. Or a red and a green or a blue and a red or a black and a yellow, whatever. Uh, combo it up, target people efficiently, you won't get hit turn one. This is a move set that grows and gets better. Uh, plus you're going to get into the sub right away and drain them. These are all options for feud. Boss battle, obviously the fact that you don't need to swipe. And you keep buffing the green move over and over is self-explanatory. Uh, so let's get in here take a look and we're going on a stip tour So because there's no six stars for me to beat up on and I find it ridiculous that I'm beating everyone turn one With crappy moves not doing damage. Uh, so I'm trying to be realistic. We're gonna see some multiple turns on stip here Let me know what you think in the comments on this It's the best I feel like I can do to show me show you what he's gonna do with this if you hate it Sorry, uh, I'll try something different next time if enough people hate it um there you go. Gem damage to start. He does not have a strap, but it should show the damage. So gem damage a little bit higher than your average opponent. 
but less than you see on the tours. Or the tours are usually extra buffed, right? Your opponent usually doesn't have 50% gem defense, so uh, there's that. So silence gems go out, buffs your green gem damage. Finisher would not be loaded in feud, so we're not going to use it. Uh, because these are 8 MP, this would be 1 or 2 MP short, so we're not using it. Uh, that buffs the green gem damage up to 67k. Uh, if you don't cascade, you stay on your turn. If not, you refill. If you do cascade, you refill everything. So, holy crap, Merrick's didn't cascade. Now though, uh, I could hit the sub and drain him, but that would be a mistake because my green moves wouldn't be filled. So, however, it looks like I made a five match. So we're just gonna make a three swipe. Yeah. And be loaded. Also, I only have feud perks right now. Uh, one MP meaning no matchy match. So there's that. So in a case like this, this is perfect. So sometimes you won't even need the MP down. Anyway, go from that right into the sub as it places silence gems. And sub isn't bad. We're doing a little bit of damage there. Now we're going to chuck our Silence Gems. If you don't have a Uso Cap, you could also use All Heart to get 100% green damage, gem damage buff. Here you go. 93k on those greens now. We have a ton of Silence Gems. This should be a huge hit, and I wouldn't have been able to show you this against Ivar most likely. Uh, I added in 2 times speed. Chat, did you see how hard that hit? Merrick's totally scuffed it up. Should have been in 1.25. So I did not see the total damage. Maybe someone on, on the Twitch caught how much that was. These old eyes couldn't pick it up. 4.5 million? Yeah, that's because we're on stiff. He kicked right out of it. Because we're on stiff. What? So yeah. That is really solid, right? 4.5 million, really solid. Anyway, uh, we'll just carry on. We're going to go right to the sub again. Get those silence gems out. So you can see, once you're rolling with this, you're really going to be rolling. Very control. Now we're going to chuck our silence gems out, buff our gems again, hit even harder. I forgot I had it in two times speed, I apologize. Silence gems now are 118k, so you kind of see where this would go in boss battle with silencer green as well. Um, I think this is a great addition if you don't have Zombie Ray for Dom as a defensive tech. You lack some of those other guys that are really great. That's like 5 million there. It's just going to get bigger. I'm going to go back to 2 times speed and then next build set, forget to turn it back down. I mean, we could just throw Silence Gems out and be just get through this uh, quickly now. You guys, I think, get the point, so let's just get through the match. Actually, let's see how he auto plays. That's not going to hit as hard because I didn't do the sub. Let's see what he does for autoplay. All right, silence gems first. That's not bad. I would have preferred the sub. One, two, three. Okay. So first move set, not bad. Uh, I like it. I think it's going to have its uses, like I said. Yeah, he swiped. That was great, right? Next move set. Very similar, uh, but different. We're moving one move in. Running knee lift. We're going to put that in for one of the moves. I think that one. And then we're going to order this different so I don't mess it up. No, sub won't proc the plate. That's only boss battle. And, uh, that's wrong. Why am I big dumb? Because I'm talking. I want the torture rack in the middle, because otherwise I'll screw it up. And the attitude adjustment on top. Alright. Benefit to this one is obviously you don't need to run MP down. That would be the benefit. Oh my gosh, broken. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to crush those leaderboards with this one. You know somebody's probably going to say that, actually. Um, I don't care. 
Entourage for this one. We're switching this totally up. So a few does not have matchy match perks. So we are going to go with Sethro Jenkins. So we get matchy match, more green gems. We're going to go with Kofi to load the yellow. Now, if you don't have 17k Santa Hogan, you can just run another yellow coach to start turn one. So there's that. You has options, but then you'll miss the matchy match and it's a little more difficult to load. And then because the sub is uh, is there, um, and I felt like it, we're going to put Bruno on here. You can do what you want. Uh, that brings it up to four turns, 1.7, or 178k. Burp. Set entourage, I can do this for real. Okay. Again, I have feud perks active, essentially, no matchy match, so it takes a little bit extra without a matchy match trainer. Here we go. Oh, did I not say what this move did? I don't think I did. It's 7 MP, 147k damage, which is a little less than that. Choose 5 gems to make into green gems. Um, this Lex has plus 2, so it wouldn't be like this high. Uh, and I have Santa. So you'd start plus three in feud with this setup. Uh, two, three matches more than does it. One, four match would do it. Whatever you prefer. Uh, yeah. If heavy machinery worked in reverse, it would be awesome. Uso cap plate's going to do nothing for us here. Just uh, heads up for everyone. And we can double check that too here, Evo. Two, three matches is enough. I don't really need more green gems or anything. But, you know, there's that. Put them there anyway. Um, and now we're going to go right into the sub, and then we're going to use this to just keep recycling the greens and ignore the yellow the rest of the way. That's the idea. So it's just sub, blow up, sub, blow up, sub, blow up. You're not going to do huge damage. Because you're only going to have so many... So all heart would be better for this one. 33k. Uh, so you can see, we'll make sure it's not working on the Uso cap plate. So that's only like 840k. We're not getting a buff. You'd want to run all heart with this, like I said. Um, still 33k. Here's the sub again. So this is just a drain, refill, drain, refill. Um, not necessarily going to be super fast, uh, but it's the only thing I felt like using the cheese for, I think. Uh, so that's why it's in here. Hmm. Come on. Still only 33k. Also, why you need the matchy match trainer. Because apparently sometimes you're going to miss when you're doing a preview. Especially if I'm doing it. But that's okay. We can also swipe yellow gems. Luso cap is still pretty rare, yeah. Uh, I don't particularly love this moveset, just FYI. So it's just as well. We're in a stip uh, tour. This would have taken Lord knows how long. We only need one green match. Derp, derp. Which is good, because I only have five gems, and I can't count them. Right back into the sub. Anyway, you get the idea. It's not amazing. But it does what it does. This time, obviously, there would have been a lot more silence gems left. Uh, pretty much broken. So also, I believe you can use this at three star. I'm pretty sure this setup is this three star setup and can work. Uh, so if you're, you know, out there on three star trying to get through his tours, I believe this is the setup. Uh, we can double check that in a second. Next move set. Kind of like this one as well. Let's double check. Uh, go to the poster. I think that was what I would use three star. Yes, I would definitely use that one for three star. Choose to load the green or just start with your green loaded because of tours in his monthly perk and then just go right into the sub. I'd probably do that and just throw sub trainers on him and super sub it uh, for ease of use uh, for the three star tours. All right, next move set. We are going to bring in the snap scoop power slam. Nice, Mayo. 
Yeah, that would make sense that that would work. Military press slam and the bear hug. Uh, so really, you have options here in what you want to do. Uh, you could start with the red loaded. You could start with the yellow loaded. I personally would much rather start with the yellow loaded and the sub to drain them and move from there. So this also gives me the chance to show off the Tonka's training ability, which is actually quite good for this. And actually, I think I might have even saved this loadout ahead of time. Perfect. So, Tatanka, yellows. Oh, I didn't read what these moves do. I should probably do that, huh? Snapsuit's Power Slam. Deal 127k damage, makes 5 Snowfall Gems into red. Military Press Slam. 126k damage, choose a 5x1 area to make into Snowfall Gems. Modify all below it into yellow. And then the submission, choose 8 gems to make into red subs. Uh, 4 turns, 145k. This sub is actually quite beefy. This is, The bear hug is a really good sub. Uh, so this is going to end up doing 1.5 million in sub damage. Tatanka does 100%. More yellow sub, two yellow MP, so sub starts loaded. Then we got Drew for 50% in one more turn. And then just because we're making some yellows, uh, we're going to run yellow gems, do 25% more damage. This would work great with Rhonda's jacket. After you sub, you'd get 100% yellow gem damage. So this build set with a Rhonda's jacket would be pretty great. Um, I might have that equipped. I only have one. I can show you what it says it does. I'm not going to pop it on. Uh, yeah, Rhonda's jacket. Yellow gems 100% more when you generate three or more sub gems. So that's what I would use for this build. And I think it would be pretty good. Also, at this point, keep in mind, I will be doing considerably less damage. 50% uh, less than if you were using Fury 2s, even with the buff. This will be 50% less damage, so keep that in mind. 50% less gem damage, not half of what are doing, but 50%. Anyway, hear me now, believe me later. What? So, subloads these. It also drains them, which is perfect. Uh, if you feel like doing extra damage, you can do fun stuff. Uh, or you can just put it all together, whatever's faster for you. Leave one gem, two gems. I like picking a corner. Uh, if I'm, what I do depends on how bored I am, full disclosure, when I'm using it. Uh, sometimes I make row breaks, sometimes I make silly designs with the chews. Whatever. Anyway, that drains, uh, like 1.5 million damage, and then loads the other moves. And then those moves load the sub. So, a few extra turns is nice. Um, on the sub to get that drain in. It's, you know, six of this half and does the other. Either way. Let's go in the middle then. See, that hit for 1.6 million? That would be about a 2 million hit. Uh, followed after the 1.5... You put a Rhonda's jacket on there with Double Fury, and you're probably pushing 3 million after the 1.5 million sub. You also, if you didn't want to use the extra turn on the sub, and you had a yellow gem damage coach, could throw that on there and index that more. Kind of whatever you want to do with it. Uh, so this should be really fairly easy wins, cycle back and forth. And this is the build set I see most people using with him, probably. It should win a lot. Also, keep in mind, you could use it shield breaking in boss. Um, a lot of different things you could do with it, right? Um, so there's that. And you just, in, in boss battle, you'd continue to grow the gem damage with a, a Rhonda's jacket. So another nice plus at the defensive slot somebody that could grow the gem damage. Uh, we're going to get a little more interesting boss battle build after this, though. So I'm assuming you guys understand the concept of this one. I need to turn it back to 1.25 speed. I'm skipping people's animations. I'm scuffed. I'm so sorry. So... Uh, chat, while, while recording, feel free to give your thoughts on the movesets. If you like them, don't like them what you might use, all of that stuff. Sap, thanks for the raid. I'm recording my preview. Welcome in, raiders. This is very control. Very, very control. Probably too slow for a lot of people. Uh, let's leave two. And... Yeah. 
And oh. Huh. Yeah, Tatanka's good, for sure. I'll be doing him later, tonight, or tomorrow. The chase ones I like playing a bunch, making sure I get them right. Oh, I love your emote, Sapper. That's awesome. So do keep in mind, Mayo, that I am 50% less than Fury 2 with this moveset. Also don't have a yellow or a red move damage metal on, so do keep that in mind. And Ronda's jacket, I think, would speed it up significantly. And you're also seeing a stip to her, right? Uh, so I can get more turns in because otherwise a uh, five-star gold isn't very good for giving a look. This isn't where I parked my car. Hey, Top Food, how are you, bud? And again, give your feedback in the preview if you prefer this. Getting to see uh, multiple turns with it as opposed to if I just one, one instantly beat a five-star gold with the other stuff. Very interested to hear what you guys say. This is the best I could come up with in my mind. So that doesn't mean a lot. All right, last move set. I see this one strictly being a boss battle build. So I'm going to set it up like I was pretending it was for boss battle. This would be great for shield breaking and for yellow gem damage. Growing that yellow gem damage. Yes, aim dog. You are very observant. Yeah. It is indeed stip tours. I'm doing my preview on a stip tour so I can get multiple moves in. Mm, no McRib Mondays. That's going to cost me too much. I'll keep the same order so I don't mess the... Uh, definitely not genius. It's more necessity. Okay, the new move we haven't seen. Hey, HBK, how are you, bud? I used to be in your faction. 9 MP, vertical suplex. 133k damage. Increase your yellow gem damage by 60% for two turns. So... In uh, boss battle, if you had a yellow shield, yellow, uh, a lot of times you have a buff to that gem color when there's a shield, you could grow your de gem damage. Because if you set up with choosy guys, matchy match stuff, you do not have to uh, click anything, so you won't lose your buff. Just keep growing your buff over and over, buffing this for the shield, buffing your yellow gem damage, etc. Um, so for that, to get started right away... Uh, I would go double red MP trainer. You could also do a red matchy match. Let's say you don't have uh, Hollywood Hogan. Um, just do red matchy match Montez Ford instead and then do a swipe and then get going. Same effect. And then you could put a yellow gem damage trainer on the back here to make up for it instead of Hollywood. So you have that option too. So don't feel like you need NWO Hollywood and Boss to do that. You could just as easily use Montez. Um, and accomplish the same thing and get a little more gem damage. You just need to make a match first uh, When at all possible, I like to Merix proof the board meaning I Can't screw it up and my RNG won't strike. You know what I mean? So I forgot to do a look. No, I, yeah I, mm, No, I did load out. Yeah, I did do a load out. Where's my other red MP sting one of these days? I'm getting the pass I keep saying that so I have multiple loadouts and we don't have to deal with this the whole time uh, of Merrick's not finding crap. So this makes a three match worth six or a five match worth eight, thus recycling everything without having to swipe. Works out quite nice. Uh, obviously the buff isn't there on turn one. So again, this is strictly for boss battle. Uh, the downside though is the subplate would give 100% round his jacket the buff gives 60% however the sub you have to choose and Rhonda's jacket's a very rare plate and this one you wouldn't need a plate so hopefully that makes sense but you should be able to see the growth in the gem damage once we start hitting the buff might take a minute but Nice thing going against the uh, stip here, you can see the growth of it. 
This should hit basically like the last one was. One three, one five, somewhere in there. That was a big cascade, so we hit for one nine. Yellows are 25k. Now they're 41k. The only choose is the area one, so that would save a lot of time in boss battle. Everything else you're just clicking. And that's very nice. Animations don't seem bad. Again, keep in mind we're running less damage than if we had Fury 2s right now, even with his buff. I mean, this moveset is similar to Hall of Fame Dusty. Similar, but the other movesets are nothing like Dusty. And Dusty does red, not yellow. Zombie Lashley without a buff? Yes. This would be similar to Zombie Lashley. Zombie Lashley move animations are very, very slow. Uh, and this is also a defensive tech. Uh, there's a lot of damage growth builders for boss battle in um, aggressive, where power or where Showboat Lashley is. There are not very many grow your gem damage people um, in defensive. So that's a nice bonus. However, the downside is defensive tech is absolutely loaded at other things. So keep that in mind. Uh, we'll talk about where I think he fits in overall in a second here when we're done with these turns. Um, we can check the buffage again as this, this is uh, growing larger each time. You can see 56k there. So yeah, a yellow boss battle, yellow shield, this will have its usage. The green one will have silence gem um, and green gem damage boss uses. So I really like that he packs a bunch of different things into it. Um, you're going to be able to win with him. So like, let's say you're, you're a totally free to play player. Uh, this is a, a poster that you can really benefit from in the sense that um, the sub build you could run without anything really and win a lot of matches where like zombie dom is only good if you have zombie ray so if you're somebody that missed out on zombie ray and d doesn't have him uh and you don't have like tech sammy gunther or like um scott steiner this is probably someone who's going to be very good for you to work on everyone should take him to five star gold for the trainer like every roster minimum five star gold for the trainer but i do think a lot of um, free-to-play rosters were, will really, really benefit from him. Um, and, I mean, honestly, I feel like my roster will benefit from him. He brings a lot of stuff to the table. If nothing else, even at 5-star gold, he's a defensive option I can slot in for boss battle to help break a shield. Uh, throw some vitality on him and stuff like that. So let's talk about where he ranks overall on my roster. And my thoughts on that sort of thing. We're going to go to class and tech. And uh, for tech, I'm missing zombie HPK. So apparently there's police going by on my road and my window's down. And now all the dogs are barking. You may or may not be able to hear that. Um, I really like Gunther. I think Gunther's better, obviously. Um, they have different training abilities, though. So that's worth noting. Um, but I think Gunther's better. Uh, zombie HPK is better, right, for sure. But after that, like, if you're thinking about six stars, I mean, I think him and Brett are fairly similar. If you don't have Brett's really good stuff, i.e. his moment for feud, they'd be similar for feud. Brett's going to be required more. Uh, DX Triple H, as long as you have move damage medals and stuff, I think DX Triple H is going to be faster. But if you're not winning the first turn with DX Triple H, you might, you're, you might take some damage. Whereas potentially... Uh, Lex will drain them, right? So that's a fair comparison. If you're talking about to five-star gold level, I would say you, Lex, if you're someone that uses or needs, you know, the extra blue MP, or if you're using uh, um, Acro Bianca, this is huge for. If you end up using Tatanka, it's huge for. In those cases, you'd want to take Lex five-star gold first. Uh, Six-star gets a little bit trickier because defensive techs, we have 
two big boys right here. We have Tech Sammy, who's amazing, and he's definitely not better than Tech Sammy. Uh, and then Zombie Dom, who can be really amazing. However, if you get pinned, you guys all know Zombie Dom doesn't do anything. Plus, you need Zombie Ray. Uh, so, I guess, really, where he fits into things, I think, is really good. Um, Hall of Fame X-Pac is quite good, but they don't use the same tokens, so I don't need to really compare them. Certainly better, I think, than Jay. Um, and you guys know I love Jay. Um, Hall of Fame, like I said, no comparison there. Better than here. I mean, like, I would argue I think he'd be more useful than Riddle for most people. Um, Riddle's also chaotic, and, like, Boss Battle and Chaotic has a ton of really good people. Shamrock would be a fairly good comparison if you have a Taker Sigil. I think Shamrock's better because of the stun. Uh, without a Taker Sigil, though, probably Lex. Um, Snoop, One Gear... And an all heart plate is pretty good. Maybe better, close-ish. Uh, Razor's going to be better. But really, I'd say he's in that like next tier down. If you have stuff for, DA, uh, for Triple H, like a strap, a move damage metal, um, he's certainly going to be better. Uh, if he can win turn one. If he can't, though, he's, he's going to eat it to the face, and he's also very clicky. So I do think Lex has his uses and fits in on a lot of rosters. If for nothing else, boss battle, if you're missing some fancy stuff, Lex is going to win for you. So I think he's a great addition. Uh, really good free superstar. For sure, I'm taking him to five-star gold. Uh, Six-star, if it was a right boss battle, I might. I have a defensive option for growing my uh, gem damage that I like a little bit more in Icon JBL, uh, who can use a Titan Plate. So not necessarily a need there, but I do think he's a great addition and very useful. And I think a lot of people are going to like him. Plus, any Lex requirement, he'll knock it out of the park. Five-star gold, he should have no issue beating six stars. Just sub and drain, sub and drain. Unless they're like the one MP move guys, but those are hard no matter who you have unless they're on equal footing. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this preview. Hopefully I showed Lex off to what he will look like. Uh, let me know what you think about using the Stip Tours. I know this is a little bit long. Um, but I felt like that was the best option to show what he could do. So yeah, remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Leave a comment that also helps me out and uh, show up on Twitch and hang out. We have a lot of fun. Uh, so thanks for watching guys and good luck out there.